hi guys welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be an unboxing of the bio boo pump i saw everyone on tiktoks talking about it i actually received mine on saturday and it's tuesday so or no i received my i received it on thursday it was supposed to come in monday but it came in thursday and it came like so i have both the kids awake so if you hear them in the background they're just playing in the living room so this is the box the bio boo hug pump but i noticed on tiktok they always do like their morning pump session and all that so i don't want to do a morning pump session because i already know that in my morning pumps this is how much i get today i used my spectra pumps with the little adapters the flanges the correct flange size and i got um what is it like 14 ounces and i'm basically only pumping one time a day now so i am gonna pump later on in like five hours because my right breast still feels full and i don't know like i don't know why my pump wasn't working but this was only 30 minutes of pumping and like i said before i would always pump 30 anywhere between 35 to 45 minutes of pumping but i got busy like my baby woke up so i was like okay gotta stop pumping so i will pump using the bio boo pump a little bit later and i'm gonna give you guys my honest reviews and all that so let's go ahead and unbox together so bio bio boo hug so we're gonna go ahead and open it so what i think is pretty cool about this pump where you're able to measure um your size and all that so you don't have to buy an extra thing i think these things cost like six dollars on amazon so the good thing about this is that it already comes here and you don't have to buy it it tells you how to um oops it's backwards so right here it tells you how to do how to insert it what the correct way to do it is and what way it's not correct to do so I'm gonna do this. What I'm gonna do right now though is I'm gonna wash it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Um, here's like the manual and all that. And it comes in this little bag. Well, two of these little bags. Let me take both of them out actually. So it comes in these, which is pretty cool. Okay, so then I'm just gonna open it up so it tells you to avoid danger or suffocation you know just get rid of this make sure it's away from the kids this is a big hole so it looks like this um, it looks charged already so I think it has like yeah you can do a stimulation and all that there's three different modes it looks like so you have to like press on it to turn it on and off. Like just hold hold it and then you can switch the levels. I am gonna use the correct my correct flange size. So so once I'm I have it washed and everything, I'm gonna use the correct flange size. It says it goes up to six ounces, but I think I've seen people do like up to eight ounces. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That hole looks so big. So it comes with its charger. The only thing is that I have a lot of these boxes. I have like three or four of this big box. So it's kind of hard to find the other little outlet thing. So I wish it would have come with that. Even the mom cozies. I haven't used my mom cozies because I don't, I can't find the little white boxes. And I have to share. When I do find one, I have to share. I always wonder what these things do. I don't know what they do. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? I have to adapt it to something like what are these for i don't know i have a lot of these i threw them away because even in my nursing bras these things come and i don't know what they do so um so if someone can tell me what that does or like how to use it i won't throw it away this time and it does come with uh the cool thing is that it comes with different flange size little adapter things so it comes with the 24, a 21, and a 17. 
I think I'm a 17, but uh, so you get two 24s, two 21s, and two 17s, which is great because you don't have to buy extra if, if this is your size and it comes with this. So you don't got to spend money on buying this for like six dollars, wait, waiting for it to get to you and all that. Um, and then if you and if you happen to be 24, you already have that flange. And if you happen to be 21, it's already included. And if you happen to be 17, it's already included. So you don't spend extra money. And I think I paid $75. I think some people have paid like 50, but I paid $75 for it. There was like a coupon and then if you, a coupon for $20 off and then TikTok it, uh, was giving first time buyers $30 off so then it came out to like 75 and it, and it shipped pretty fast to be honest I was expecting it to come yesterday and it came Thursday like I said and I think I ordered it Tuesday or it came Friday sorry it came Friday so in this li little baggies you're able to put your pumps inside which is great so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna be back in a few hours um, to show you guys how much milk I produce because I feel like everyone reviews this product in the morning and Tomorrow morning I will use this but I'm averaging about 14 ounces in the morning 14 to 16 ounces in the morning Sometimes if I'm having a bad day, it'll be nine ounces. So if it gets anything below nine then I'm gonna be like um, I'll let you guys know also so I'll do tonight's pump session with it and then tomorrow's morning pump session with it and see okay because this is how it's been looking in the morning so far so I'll be back like are you does it really come pre-wash or do you guys wash everything again like let me take it off oh. so kind of it's, it's kind of like the spectra for me this i mean the mom cozy s12 just the s12 version the only difference is like these look different this looks like the s12 pro version like these same things so i wonder if it's the same size because i don't want to get them confused and all that and the only difference is like this one is one hole the other one's like two holes and it does look a little bit bigger so we'll see how it, how they work and this is supposedly supposed to hug you and all that it looks like a flower to me so we'll see we'll see everything how it turns out to work and I'll let you ladies know if I like it or not because in this channel we're all about talking the truth about our pumps what we just like what we like what issues we have and all that because I've been having issues with my Mount Cozy S12, like at least the battery port, sometimes the suctioning sucks. So I'll be back and I'll let you guys know the time. And normally, here's normally in my afternoon pump session, if I do decide to have a second pump session, that session is always five to six ounces, okay? So if I don't get five or six ounces in this afternoon session, I will let you ladies know and see and all that. So be right back. This right here was 20 minutes of pumping. It was almost three ounces, um, but I didn't end up using the flange size that I got off of Amazon. I ended up using the BioBoo pump um, flanges that it came with, and I ended up pumping for an extra 10 to 15 minutes. So I got about a little bit over five ounces. This is my left. Almost six ounces. And this is my right. Eight ounces. So it's still the same day. It's just two fifty now, and I'm currently pumping with my mom Cozy's S12 Pro. 
I wanted to do a comparison with the flanges. So I wanted to see if I felt the same like discomfort pain using this one. This is from the Bio Blue Pump. And this is the one that I used earlier in the morning. And then this is the one that I bought off of Amazon like a couple weeks ago. Supposedly they're both 17 mm's for the flange size. So you see 17 right there and then 17 right here. Um, I don't know, for some reason, this one looks a little bit bigger than this one. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, but I wanted to try, because right now I'm pumping with my mom Cozy S12 Pros. Uh, so I have this one on the right and this one on the left. And I'm noticing that with this one, I feel like it's tugging. Uh, feels like a tugging pain um, by using this one and the one on the left side I feel completely fine so I am gonna try again to pump with the bio blue tomorrow morning but I'm gonna use this flange instead of this one to see if I notice the difference in the tugging because this is low-key painful even using the mom cozy I know I know that when I use the mom cozy before without a flange it was like tugging and I'm feeling that same pain using this flange. So I don't really know what's going on. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to pump one more time with the BioBoo pump to see if I can get more than 12 ounces because this morning I only got 8 ounces. So in the morning, my pump session is usually anywhere between, with the correct flange size, like 12, 13, 14, 15, sometimes 16 ounces. And if I do pump in the afternoon, I get like six ounces. Um, so this morning I only pumped eight ounces and I was confused because normally I would get eight ounces when I didn't have a correct my correct flange size. And today I use my correct flange size, but on the bio boot pump. So I'm just like, why am I not um, making a lot of milk if I only breastfed my baby once? And I always breastfeed my baby like three times throughout the night. And yes, this morning I only breastfed him one time. And it was only for eight minutes. And he didn't want any more. So I'm very confused. So right now I'm pumping to see how much milk all milk will come out. Oh my goodness, I gotta go. My seven-month-old stands now. He stands on the ottoman. So let me go take care of him really quick. And I'll come back once I... Um, uh, once I'm done finished pumping, it should be in like 15 20 minutes. So it's almost been 30 minutes since I pumped. My pumps are about to turn off right now. Um, so we'll see how much I got. I'm gonna first take off the left side. The left side is my slacker boot, but this morning when I pumped with the bio boot pump, it actually ended up giving me the most I have ever gotten from the left side. So that was one pro about the pump this morning. And then the right gave me a little bit, but I did breastfeed my baby eight minutes on the right side at six in the morning and I pumped around 8.30 this morning. So we'll see how much uh, milk I got and I'll let you guys know. So this is actually my right. I wanted to stop this one first. This one's still going, this is 28 minutes. I stopped this at 28 minutes because of the, uh, what's it called? The, I was suctioning. It was like painful. So, um, this is the BioBoo flange. And this was a 28 minute pump session right here. So we'll see how much I got. And I honestly haven't pumped with my mom Cozy's S12 Pros in, in a while. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up, show you guys right here. So I got four and a half ounces and this was a lot easier to insert versus uh, the BioBoo one. I felt like that one was a little bit harder to insert, but it's also hard to take off. So let's just grab every ounce. 
So the flange is a little harder to take out um, using these. So now I'm gonna show you guys how much I got on the left side. And this is what the flange that I like. This one's very comfortable. I didn't feel no tugging. And usually I feel tugging with Mom Cozy's, the S12 and the 12 Pro without a flange. I feel a lot of tugging. So right here, you know what, let's, so we have about four and a half, okay? I was gonna use a different one, but I'm not trying to um, wash multiple pumps right now. I mean, multiple bottles. But I think it's gonna be about 10 ounces. Yeah, so it's 10 ounces in total. So I got five ounces on the left. Five and a half ounces on the left and then uh, four and a half ounces on the right. So that, make, that made it a total of 10 ounces. And then I'd like to dump it out. Well, it was almost 10 ounces to be honest. So it's just every ounce counts. So I got a total of 280 milliliters. I got more on the left side and that's my slacker boob. That, and my slacker boob is the one I always get like, I need between two to four ounces and my right breast is, usually does all the ounces, but today I feel like it's it's been swapped. So um, it was a lot easier. This one's a lot easier to insert and take out versus the bio blue. I'm like, I have a harder time taking it out. And this one just slides in and out. So um, tomorrow, just so I can make it fair and square, and I can give you guys an honest review, tomorrow morning for my morning pump session, I'm gonna try the bio blue again but I will be using this flange instead of the flange that they sent. So we'll see. And like I said before, I always get in the afternoon six ounces and today I got a little bit extra because this morning I only pumped eight ounces. So six, seven, eight, nine. So I got three ounces and then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Basically I got almost the same amount as if I would have pumped in the morning using this flange. And this one works, so this flange also works really well. This one and the green one works well for me. Um, and I got them, I think, under the same seller, I believe. So for today's morning pump session, I got seven ounces on my right and six ounces on my left also so i used the flanges from the ones i ordered on amazon instead of using the flanges from the bio blue pump and it made it pumping a lot easier it wasn't hurting it was not painful it was very comfortable and i was able to make 13 ounces this morning which was better than yesterday when i used the bio blue flange adapter and I only got I think eight ounces and normally I don't get that much milk unless my milk supply drops when the time of the month comes so um, I'm gonna give it another try like later today I'll pump again or tomorrow morning I'll pump again using them to see if I really really like it or not but today it did a better job at pumping because I used these flanges instead of the flanges like I said that come with it I'm gonna talk about the pump and everything really quick I kind of talk about it throughout the video but I feel like the pump only works well when I use my flanges that I ordered from Amazon I feel like with the flanges that it comes with um, it tugs on my nipple like really really bad and it's very painful and then I notice a difference in like how much ounces come out I feel like um 
I make less ounces when I have the BioBoot flange adapters versus the one I got off of Amazon. Also, one of the pumps is it's kind of, it makes it hard to like put it back together. Um, I don't know if I got like a defective pump because, or like the, what do you call it? Let me just grab it. Really so it's a little dirty, but I'm talking about this part right here on the right side on one of them. It it kind of gets hard to like close it back up and i really what? have to like push it in make sure everything is going incorrectly and it only happens on one and also like yesterday and the day before i kept trying to um, pump and i would put my shirt over and for some reason the pump on the right side was always stopping so i was just confused so today i wore the tank top and i'm just like I wonder if I wore a different shirt, if it will happen. Because um, I don't really like to see down my shirt. Because I feel like if I'm distracted um, and not seeing what's going on, I'll produce more milk. But if I keep having to go back down to try to turn it on, I'm just like questioning how much milk I made. So I just didn't like the fact that it kept turning off on me the one on the right side and then today i parched them before i used them and i'm wearing a tank top and i didn't have that problem today so i don't know what's My going on thoughts about the pump is i don't think i like it i liked it with my green flanges uh inserts that i added because it wasn't tugging and it got me 13 ounces but I don't like it with the flange that it comes with. And also, I'm struggling with putting the top, uh, connecting it together on one side. And then if the battery keeps dying or turning off on me, and it's messing with my settings when I put a shirt over. Like, I don't want to be wearing a tank top. I don't want to be wearing a nursing bra while I'm pumping with it. I want to make sure that I'm comfortable wearing my t-shirt. So, I don't, I don't know. I'll give it... A six out of ten. Six out of ten because I don't want to have those issues because I don't have those issues with my mom cozy S12 Pro when I have a t-shirt over it. The settings don't get messed up. And then I've been pumping with my uh, mom cozy S12 along with the Spectra adapter and uh, obviously I don't have a problem with that now because I don't have the battery but I hate the battery on the mom cozy S12. So overall still my spectra pump is my favorite pump in the whole entire world and i like it now even more using the mom cozy s12 cups um because it's not as bulky uh, so yeah i'm gonna be returning it most likely just because i'm not trying to have an issue with closing it i'm not trying to have an issue with the battery turning off on me and the suctioning hurting me even with its flanges that it comes with so i don't think after this next pump session if it'll change my mind or not because i'm still going to use the green flange or the other flange that i have um to give it one last try make sure to comment like subscribe and let me know what kind of videos that you guys want i think my next video will be a day in my life video or a week in my life because sometimes i don't finish recording those videos and I think it'll be interesting because my schedule is switching up again for the next few months so I'm going to try to get used to this schedule and then once the schedule I'm used to this schedule I'm getting a new schedule afterwards so we'll see how it goes um and yeah talk to you guys later bye